We do a lot of custom designing impromptu because I feel once you have a jewelry piece, it's very important to wear it with the correct ensemble. And otherwise it would look completely lost and diluted. So um, let's do a little exercise before we go into how should I wear and pair my jewelry? Would someone volunteer to come here so I can impromptu design a piece of jewelry for them? Priyanka, right? I would have a conversation, chat up with her, give her a coffee. All that time, I'm actually gauging her likes, her personality, her way of talking, everything. And then, uh, of course, I'd ask her what her choices are. Uh, it will Tell definitely you. be a white gown. Uh, and say my vows in that and then it could be followed with an Indian uh, reception dress like a sari or a lehenga. <laughs> so let's design first on your white gown. Okay. Okay. So uh, Priyanka has a coloring which will go with every colored stone. Normally if you have a darker skin and uh, I would suggest that darker sensual skins would go with vibrant rubies, red color, emeralds, bright zambian, or tanzanites, which are dark blue. And lighter skins, I would go for ethereal colors like the soft aquamarine, diamond, uh, the morganite, which is a soft peach, and maybe the kunzite, a bright pink, but Priyanka is lucky she can carry every color. So for her white gown, I would like to keep the, I wouldn't give her a choker. I would like to keep it from here to here, a delicate Edwardian style flat mesh of gold, which is in keeping with her petite style. And I would sprinkle diamonds on it. The size of diamonds would depend on her budget. <laughs> so, she would have a piece of lace with tiny diamonds sprinkling, very delicate, very elegant with her personality. No big stones and it'll just set off her gown beautifully. For a sari, for a sari I would advise long earrings in maybe a bright red ruby color and a necklace which is again away from the neck right till here which is offsetting her sari but for her casual wear priyanka wear hoops right from here to here thin wires just thin delicate try it they look lovely on you and you can just have thin bracelets which are trinkety chains with your watch so that's what I would advise for Priyanka. That'd be lovely. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. So, you know, uh, as I suggested, that what, how custom designing is very important. So you don't let the jewelry overpower you. And at the same time, you don't let your piece get lost. It's very important. So, you know, when we have a round face, I would suggest you wear long earrings, big hoops, but no round studs and no matha patties to structure your face to make it look rounder. But if you have a long face, I think you can experiment with the big studs. And again, hoops are universal as Kriti pointed out. They go with every face type. So, you know, since we do a lot of fusion jewelry, and statement pieces and Indians love their solitaires. They just love it and they love their jewelry overall. So, uh, you know, I advise my clients to wear their big solitaires with a statement piece like an art necklace. So you mix status and style. Imagine if you're wearing a solitaire here, 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 you're looking very desperate to show your money. So it's better you wear bigger studs in solitaires and just wear an art piece on the neck to give that little cut. I'm stylish as well as rich. That's a great message. Now, not to overload jewelry or your piece won't be noticed. Either the piece won't be noticed or you will get overshadowed. 
So either way, that little balance is very, very important. So the normal norm on a wedding is wearing heavy jewelry. So my suggestion is it's not necessary at all. Delicate light jewelry is not necessarily cheap jewelry. It's just the size is less in volume. So you're not wearing heavy jewelry and heavy necklace. You can wear a delicate one, which could be very expensive as well. So jewelry, I think, should uplift your personality. It's an accessory. Please don't wear it to show that this is an investment. It doesn't work at all. Now, wedding jewelry needs very skillful styling because if you're wearing a red necklace, you don't wear rubies or a bright gold. You're just overdoing it. So our trick is to offset color and not let the jewelry piece diffuse with your outfit. So how about a stark emerald, maybe the Zambian with your red dress or a peach and orange, and you can wear that with pale gold. In fact, against a bright red and pink, a pale fusion of Russian cut emerald or a firoza looks lovely. So contradict your colors on the wedding day to stand out and not give it just one monochromatic boring look. So, you know, uh, women who, are, who like to wear delicate stuff, I think Edwardian jewelry, which is the kind I just designed for Priyanka, that's Edwardian. Lace necklaces, delicate, not too much height. They look fabulous with chiffons, georgettes, and a timeless uh, beauty where you don't want to go way out with your dressing. So there are different kinds of women. Some want to like make a statement, wear bold pieces, and some feel less is more. So jewelry has to go according to that style. You know, in our brand, we have some hot favorites. And I've seen over the years, these are very popular sellers. So one of them is a stack of karas. So we have three different karas with different designs, but the same family with contradictory colors like ruby, emerald, and blue. It's very uh, traditional, but with a nice style, they look really pretty. Then we have thick statement cuffs. One single cuff adorned with a nice clasp with a lot of jewels. It's an eye-catching piece and just one is enough. You don't need to wear any more jewelry with that. When your hand moves, people will notice it. So we also have sutuas. Sutuas is a very popular style of jewelry with us. It's a thin chains with either a single side pendant or pendant on both the sides. So these are thin long chains with two pendants on either side and we embellished it with hand-painted ribbons behind. So the long necklaces are French sutuas. It's a concept from there. It's very popular at our store. So pendants with thin chains take away from the chest and give you a nice full feeling, yet they, it doesn't overpower the woman's style of dressing. Hoops. And another favorite with our store is um, uh, cocktail rings. So if you're carrying a clutch bag and you wear a cocktail ring on the first finger, it's really very eye-catching. It looks very beautiful. So, you know, we had mentioned that I do a lot of mixing of elements and metals, and I have a visual to show you for that also, the, the butterfly brooch. So here we mixed emeralds, we mixed a diamond flake, pearls, diamonds, and we cut colored stones in this whole impact. This was done in, I think, uh, 1993 and that's the mixed uh, elements which I used in this jewelry. Men's jewelry is a very popular concept today. Men are getting very dapper with jewelry, experimental. We styled a collection with leopard pins, uh, collar enhancers, uh, pocket enhancers. It was a very interesting collection. That's a leopard pin with the tanzanite diamonds it's a pocket enhancer it's very uh, classic what i think you even saw in the hollywood films many many years ago but it's an evergreen style which we did in our style 
So that's about wear and pay your jewelry. Does anyone have a question? For corporate women, necklace and earring recommendations. It has to give a sense of power, femininity, look good and not be too much. So it has to be very elegant, but it has to be very uh, effeminate as well. So it's a trick. So I think a nice round ring, which is a single band, would look lovely. And you can wear thin hoops or tiny studs with a thin chain, maybe with tiny diamonds sprinkled on it. But this again is very personal to your own likes, but you need to remain a little minimalistic unless your work environment is fashion, lifestyle or something which is fun where you need to carry your vibrant personality there then go for something exciting make your statement wear your feather earrings or whatever you feel can enhance your personality so it's really up to you